Hey everyone, welcome back to Donna Titans with DVR. And I thought I'd start a series on how to use the most effective strategy with each unit in Donna Titans. So today let's start off with the effective strategy for... Hang on, before you get to that, we first gotta go over the correct pronunciation of Grenadier. Grenadier. I know, I know. Grenadier, right? Grenadier. But every time I hear Grenadier, all I can think of is... Grenadier? How much is the tag? And when's it in season? <laughs> exactly. Right? Get out of here. All right, so yeah, effective use of grenadiers. Grenadier. All right, so let's jump right in here and take a look at these grenadiers. So as we all know, unless you don't know, grenadiers are slow but powerful ranged units, right? Right now I've got them at level, I believe, 11. They walk. They damage 1733 base damage, and they have 1386 health. The HP might as well, in my mind, be closer to zero, and of course they're ranged. So they're actually pretty phenomenal. Uh, I don't know if you, about you guys, but I tend to rely upon Grenadiers pretty heavily. But uh, they do have some, some cliff notes you need to know how to use them. Their slowness makes them very vulnerable, at the same time not very good at rushing attacks, and at the same time, uh, they need coverage, right? They need something to cover them. So I'm not going to do a garrison attack because that's easy. Garrison attacks are always straight ahead. They're always uncommon, oncoming attacks, and they never start with massive flanks. Whereas when you go into these land battles, um, especially the higher level ones, goodness gracious, they start getting really tricky. Uh, maybe putting like various things in your way, maybe like poison fields. I don't know if you guys have seen that yet, but it gets crazy. All right, here we go. This is perfect. Uh, we've got well, we got a low level titan. A nice chunk of gold, and we've got our defense some panthers, some grenadiers, and a ton of goliaths. That's fantastic. That's actually pretty much ideal. Panthers are pretty much their weakness. Uh, I guess you could argue militia as well, but really militia aren't fast enough to get through their fire. So let's see if I can do my classic cannon fodder method here, which is throw in two spearmen, throw in a bunch of grenadiers, and then of course my titan will take up the slack. And then let's throw in, I wanted uh, just something besides shield. I'm not going to need shield. Got some level 12 Goliaths as reinforcements just in case my Titan should fall. As Lucifer fell and you burn. Fall as Lucifer fell. Do you guys know where that's from? Ten bucks if you can tell me. <laughs> Alright, so we put our Titan up here. We have him attack. Let's just go straight forward actually so he gathers both Panthers. This is classic. Um, so if you haven't already figured this out, everything spawns north of the map, right up, up from the map. And so I like to bring everything kind of over here so that they don't get too spread out. And uh, I already know that the Grenadiers in this spot are gonna have a nice pivot point because they can pivot south, they can pivot north. And they're gonna start off with the closest units hitting, hitting the Grenadiers, although they're probably almost too close to really fend off the Spearmen. So the Spearmen are gonna go right into battle. I don't care about them. They're about 2,500 food apiece. They're not a big deal. The Grenadiers are over 12,000. Now they didn't get a shot off, but they were weak. Very, very weak. So there you go, you take out the lower Grenadiers, they were protected whether or not that line got thrashed, and then now you just have them attack and they defend, they, you know, they support your Titan or they support your melee troops. Classic ranged unit usage, right? Classic. But one thing you gotta realize as you get higher up in the levels is they are pure fire attack, and there are some pretty massive fire defense items out there now, thanks to the Fire Soul event or the Lords of Flame event. So you can't just go willy-nilly on them anymore. It used to be you could use them any battle, anytime, anywhere. Grenadiers were gonna be your trump card. And at the end of the day, even if your Titan falls, if you can have a Panther dance around, he can still <laughs> defend them. Because a Panther doesn't even have to fight. He can just dance around the remaining Goliaths and call them in to, <laughs> uh, to avoid attacking your Grenadiers. And if you guys wanna see that, I'll show you maybe in the next battle here. Um, but typically I don't purposefully let my Titan fall, so we'd have to go pretty high level on that. But there you go. Classic, you've probably seen it in my other videos. Grenadiers in the back bombarding whatever's in front of you as they pick away at my Titan, who's basically not going to fall in this battle. Probably not going to fall unless I start pushing over 90,000 strength. So let's jump into a really hard battle and see what happens uh, when you get a little bit more overwhelmed. Boom. So no Grenadiers lost, lost my cannon fodder, and my mentality continues to stand that if your melee troops get involved in a battle, if you have any battle worth fighting basically in this game, they're going to die. Your me your medical tent is not going to heal them up as much as you'd like, unfortunately. 
you do like 90% HP heal, that'd be amazing, right? He's, ah, uh, he's such a juicy character, but he's just too easy. So let's go find something a little bit harder. No, I want a land. Kingdoms is pretty hard. That's, that's juicy. <laughs> I want to hit that so bad. Uh, oh, Panthers, let's flip and do it. Let's do it. All right, so same thing here. Should I show you what not to do? <laughs> Let's try pikemen this time. Now, pikemen, of course, are, you know, way more effective at damaging than spearmen, right? You can see the difference there. Uh, you got 1,200 damage with 4,000 HP, whereas the pikemen have a little bit less HP, but way more damage. Um, so it's just really kind of what you're going for. But let's try pikemen, because I want to show you one of my pet peeves with pikemen that I don't like. And <laughs> you guys maybe don't like this either, but their formation makes it very difficult in some maps for them to reposition, because they're a giant square box, unlike the spearmen's nice long line, right? Oh yeah, this is perfect, yeah. So there, this is a great example. There's literally no way to reposition this. I can't. Like, I try and move the grenadiers, nope. All right, I can move maybe a little bit to the left. Pikemen. He can move around a teeny bit. I can't even put him back where he was. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I can't put him as far back as he was because they were merged. <laughs> all right, straight ahead, and let's have these guys all attack. Um, actually, I want those Panthers gone. So we'll just have them kill the Panthers. Uh, now, what I like to do is I like to almost tell my Grenadiers what to do directly. Mostly, mostly because I like to make sure they keep as many of my troops from dying as possible. That was a little bit unavoidable because I couldn't reposition and I chose pikemen. Again, that's my pet peeve because look, spearmen? Spearmen I could have had even flatter. And I would have pulled my pikemen directly back to save their lives, except um, then maybe those panthers would have gotten into the grenadiers and I don't like that. Anyways, here we go. Uh, same formation, right? These are even easier because you've got, you've got all those all those troops in the front just attacking directly right away. They're easy to figure out. They're going to come right at the Titan. It's just a matter of what, whether your Titan can stand against that many Goliaths or not. And then, uh, you know, if you had a Panther, you could collect these spells. I got Pikemen. They're, they're a little faster than Spearmen. Dang it! I was hoping for a Fireball because in this particular map, they have what I love in their, uh, <laughs> their mechanics. And that's if you throw a Fireball right back there in the trees, they, uh, hang on, let me drop this. It lights the whole tree line on fire and it vaporizes it. Very, very cool. I do it just for the cinematic effect. If I was making a movie with this game, this would be one of the maps I would use. With epic music. Titan wins. All right, there you go. So basic Grenadier strategy. Um, oh, and what I want to do as part of this series is the classic what not to do. So let's do that because... Uh, there's a lot of things you should not do with Grenadiers, and I'm just going to show you in one blanket swoop exactly what not to do. And I may still win. Let's just do the next random battle, all right? Of a land, not a, uh... I've got foe, he's got foes, in different area codes, area codes, foes. Holy Moses, it's a little too high. <laughs> That'd be a great example of what not to do, though. Do not attack three times your strength. And then, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, this is gonna be gnarly. This is what not to do. Oh yeah, high level Panthers, oh man. Okay, so we're gonna attack higher levels than us, pretty significantly high Durat. Pretty bad matchup here for me if I'm gonna do this. Grenadiers all, terrible idea. Um, I am gonna try and win still though, so I'm gonna use smart spells for this. See if we can take out the Durat before it becomes a problem. <laughs> See if we get it. So the problem with bringing all Grenadiers, ah, this is even worse, yeah, is the flanking position. And what's interesting is they've made this map, I believe, almost in response to players and possibly even what I've shown, players showing that you can just completely destroy everything, everything that they throw at you if they make it too easy on obstacles. So these obstacles do not stop ranged units. Um, and that sucks for me. <laughs> And unfortunately, uh, oh man, uh, yeah, the Durat's there. Maybe I'll just have them right here. So we gotta deviate some of these guys over here. We have to, because they're just gonna lay waste. He's gonna be in here in about 20 seconds. Maybe if I start him over here and I move him up. See, the problem is if he, if he just is too close, they're gonna hit me anyways. 
Oh, this is gonna be rough. I'm gonna have to spawn. Immediately spawn. Oh, almost, almost had him. Okay, so we've handled these guys decisively. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay. And then we're gonna have to horn this guy up because he is gonna get smashed by this Durat. And you actually need to go here. Yeah, there it goes. Ah! <laughs> oh, did he kill his Durat? It was weaker than I expected. <laughs> So typically this map, if I set myself up that poorly without bringing any units, I usually would have been damaged a little bit more thoroughly than that. I actually almost didn't even need my reinforcement. I'm actually surprised by this. Um, but there you go. Grenadiers you gotta use lightly. You gotta be gentle with them. They're like little fawns, right? Little fawns with giant fangs that can destroy things. But uh, this is definitely not how to do it. I wouldn't do it this way ever, ever if I had a choice. It's a good challenge though. Definitely a good challenge. To, I mean, it's not that hard for me to win when it's closer to my power level, but it is hard to keep zero or at least less losses, and that's pretty significant losses in my mind. Let's see what we got. Portal stones, all right. A little bit of gold. Yeah, so a loss of grenadier, two grenadier units. Not the greatest attack. Pretty good considering that I did it dumb, which was all grenadiers, no melee units. At least a couple of spearmen is probably what I would have done if I was trying to attack that one. Smart. All right, but there you go. That's how to attack with Grenadiers using an effective strategy. Obviously, it's going to stick to the ranged formula from any other strategy game out there with battling. Uh, but I just want to show you guys specifically how I do it, especially now in Champion League, where there are different maps like that that definitely make you think where they have to go. You almost always have to move your units unless it's one of those straightforward attack maps. You almost always have to move your Grenadiers. Otherwise, they are going to get picked off like the light armored units they are. Thanks for tuning in guys. Let me know what you thought about this video. I'm thinking of going right into the other units, including Spearmen, Pikemen, right? All the rest. And then I'll hit on the Titan types next as that was a request. Oh, and I am planning on putting up a video on how I make these videos because I've had a couple requests on that too from some of you guys who want to make your own videos. And I'll show you that as well, but I'll do it in the video because it's a bit of a process. And uh, I, I think it'd be, it wouldn't really do you justice just for me to kind of list out exactly what I do. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you next time on Drive-By Reviews.